by the World Bank shows that Malaysia has been successful in growing the incomes of lower income households in the past 40 years. However, while absolute poverty has been eradicated, Malaysia's income inequality as measured by the Gini Index still remains high. The World Bank says improving education and having an effective tax transfer system will reduce this inequality. I think you can reduce inequality. Malaysia can do that other countries in two different ways. One is you try to reduce the income inequality that the market produces. And one important way to do that, the most important way is to increase the equality of opportunities through improved education for everybody. Because the education translates into skills, the skills translate into good jobs, the good jobs translate into higher incomes. And if a country is successful in getting that kind of higher opportunities for everybody, it is a good way to improve income opportunities for everybody. The second way is to develop a transfer and a tax system, tax system and transfer system that help, um, uh, if you will, um, create more equity. Now, it means you tax the rich people a bit more and you give a little bit more to the people who really need it. I think it's also important to remember that having access to finance for consumers, for households, is actually very important. Now, will Malaysia be able to achieve its goal? Uh, yes, Malaysia will achieve its goal. I am convinced of becoming that advanced economy, and the opportunity Malaysia has is to become that advanced economy with equity, with sharing prosperity for the large majority of Malaysians. Income inequality will remain a hot issue in Malaysia, especially with the rise in inflation and the continuing government efforts to cut subsidies. Zunara Said, The Star Malaysia.